What's up, guys? This is Joe, and welcome to the third episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Yep, and in this room right here, the uh, the main room of the bar, there's a couple things we need to point out. Look above that. Uh, it's a jukebox, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to the top right of it. You can see there's a sign that says Texas. Tex in a Final Fantasy game? Yeah. Like, yeah it's, I don't understand. I never Why noticed that at all. Yep, and apparently it's it's like that in the Japanese version, too. Which so it's kind of weird. You think it would be in Japanese, not Either in English. Either Japanese, <laughs> or it's just, why is it there anyway? I but don't know. Anyway, and then there's another thing to, to point out over here. A mat on the floor that says Tyler. Yep. Yeah. Who in the world is Tyler? <laughs> oh, Tyler is the another full-grown member. There's four of us. Tyler is the third. Yep, so I'm pretty sure they weren't referring to Tyler. I don't know. Maybe they prophesized us meeting up together oh, or something. Yeah. Who knows? They prophesized our Let's Play. Yeah, th th those are two neat little things that I never noticed before. Yep, and uh, I'd like to go ahead and point out... You can go down the... Actually, no, wait a minute. I think I was we just... can talk to Tifa here, by the way. Okay, well, anyway, I was just going to say real quick, I want to thank... All of the new viewers. Oh, yeah, it's been, the response has been amazing. Thank you, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. No, I, I mean, mean, yeah, it easily blows everything else we've done out of the water. Yeah. You know? It's, I could not believe when, I'm just going to go ahead and give the story real quick before we go. It's going to be quick. But anyway, we were uh, just, you know, trying to put the Let's Play out there for people to see. And all of a sudden, I tweeted this Let's Play at Wings of Redemption, who liked the Let's Play. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> like, thank <so> you. <laughs> I just, I can't get over it. But anyway, let's not dwell on it too much. We got a, way more subscribers and views than we've ever had before. Yes, bigger audience, which is always great. All right, so let's get on. Let's not just stand here. All right. Sit down. <laughs> You're gonna I'm going to try and use a girl. Right. I can't do it, but I'll try. try it. How about something to drink? All right, so let's go give me something hard. Just a minute. I'll make one for you. All right, and this is another uh, event here that can have a, an effect on the later date scene, by the way. What part of this? This is just this whole conversation, what you pick, what you want to drink, and all that. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That wasn't even a tough job. I guess not. You were in Soldier. <laughs> Make sure you get your pay from Barry. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Alright. You know, that voice I was just doing, or my... Oh, dang. Cloud, are you feeling <laughs> alright? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Oh, Antifa is randomly concerned. Yeah. Anyway, that reminds me of a commercial I saw last night for like smoke-free America or something like that. Oh, is that the one with the lady in yeah, the bed? Oh, that's the disgusting. Absolute crap out that's of me. So I was disgusting. sitting here at like two o'clock last night, and I hear some lady croaking on the TV, and I look, so and there's a terrible. lady with wrinkles, a hole in her yeah. throat. It oh, scared God. the absolute crap out of me. Disgusting. <laughs> I mean, because I looked, I didn't expect to see that on like yeah, ESPN. Yeah, I know. Anyway. You think I'm a little too uptight? What do you think we should tell him? Well, what do you think Cloud would say? Yeah, because he's a yeah. jerk. <laughs> the next, oh, you got the it. next mission will be to blow up the Sector 5 reactor. Cloud, you're great. Don't you ever get nervous? Or are you, like, impervious to feelings? Nah, that couldn't be it. That guy's such a fan. Aww, he's such a fan. Wedge. Oops. <laughs> hey, look at the news. What a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. That was a pun. What a blast. Oh. oh my god. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. So basically, she wasn't trying to make the bomb that big. No, but she just absolutely yeah, Look she, at that uh, picture on the, t the screen there. It looks like an atomic bomb. It looks like bomb. a nuke, okay? Look at the, the announcer looks big. Dang, <laughs> can you talk to the TV there? I don't think so. Dang, no. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Uh-oh. Is there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here right now. Dang, cocky. Don't yeah. you go think you so bad just because you was in Soldier? Oh, dang, Barry. Dang, Barry's, Barry's got to hold him hard. back. <laughs> mm, Silent as yeah. always. Oh, oh my thanks. god. Yeah, you strong. Probably all them guys at Soldier are. But don't forget, your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it, that's all. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh he's on his tiptoes. I tiptoes. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Cloud and his money I issues. know. It's ridiculous. Shucks. Money. money. <laughs> Barrett. I think Marlene even talked to him. Did he too. say... Oh, you talked to him again. I was going to say, did he repeat that line? Papa, you're oh. so great. <laughs> hey. Oh, Tifa. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about either Shinra or Soldier. Ooh, Cloud's getting mean, dude. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet, for that matter. 
and we're just gonna slide just really does not care about anything no, except his own no. at the beginning least. of the game he is very very self-centered his own agenda is the only thing and his like you know it's, his, it's, I don't it's know all about before. cloud basically at this point all right so we can't even leave we're getting hounded by tifa yep listen cloud i'm asking you please join us no sorry tifa the planet is dying slowly but surely it's dying oh. someone has to do something so let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out ignoring your childhood friend. Aw, oh, tears are coming on. What? How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Alright, so now we're going to be treated to a flashback to childhood so we can learn about this promise. Yep, and this, like, this whole situation reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, but anyway, look, the well. Man, this is not behind. Do you remember? Uh-oh. Oh, apparently not. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Yeah, back then. Dang, awkward silence. Yep, <laughs> I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Dang, is that it? No, uh, dang, I was going to say, I don't remember that cutscene being like, all oh, baby cloud. Yeah, okay. baby cloud. He has a rat tail, by the way. He has the same hair, except for that little ponytail rat tail. Yep. Sorry, I'm late. Tifa's got her Sunday best on. Dang, she came from church. Yeah, look, she got the dress and everything. Dang, she's got a swagger walk. I Did know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the left and right I was just going to say, she's like <laughs> pimp walking in there. Dang. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving this town for Midgar. All boys are leaving our town. Dang, they were silent. So... Yeah, but I'm different from all of them. I'm not just going to find a job. Oh, he's, he's so getting... short. He, dang, he's, he's like half right. I want to join soldier. Do you know? I think the manual says how old they are. Do you remember how old they are? I think they're in their twenties. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth almost went out of character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. You gotta keep that high pitch. I can't do the high pitch. Though. I'm gonna try his but Ding's hair. Oh. What's, what's he going like, on? like playing hide and seek oh, up there? Dang. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Popped up. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Hey, is that, that's classic. Yeah. Gotta leave. Can't come back. Leave the girl behind. Yep. Oh. She crying or something? She must be, because she's not talking, that's for sure. Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? I'll try. Hey, why don't we make a promise? Oh, here's a promise, guys. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, alright? What? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to at least experience that once. What? <laughs> Cloud, seriously, man. Yep, yeah, that's all he says. Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. I mean, it's just Cloud will sit there and, and just repeat, yeah. what, what, huh, Or what? not even talk, shooting star, that's a cool Dang, thing was there. Cool. Yeah. Alright, now we're back in the present. She told us about the promise. So we know that how Tifa and Cloud, you know, kind of knew each other in the past. Yep. You remember now, don't you? Our promise. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous. I can't keep... The promise. Cloud. Oh. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. And... Oh. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Oh, here's Barrett. Oh, Dang, he doesn't even need on. the pinball machine. Dang. <laughs> Wait a sec, big time Soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. Dang, Dang I think that's our money. Yeah! yeah! 1,500 gil, not Jill. There you go. All right. This is my pay? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. Dang. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst, we're really hurting for help, right? <laughs> uh, uh, that money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. He didn't even agree to no, that. No, he's just like... Sure. <laughs> I guess he did it for Tifa's sake. She didn't want him to leave. So yeah. there you go. That's a little bit of uh, Cloud a not bit, being self-centered. Yeah, a little bit of the history, like that cutscene, kind of you know describes a little bit. Of the, oh my god! <laughs> they have back, they have a, a little bit, bit of back the backstory. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so nothing dang, we can do in here. We sleep down here in the boxes. Yeah, yeah, apparently we slept on a box. Dang. All right, so now we can actually progress a little more. The early parts of this game are full of cutscenes. Yeah, and dialogue. just setting things up for the characters and stuff. I mean, which is you know pretty much every game does that. So I don't really fault the game. It's Tifa doing. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Oh, <laughs> Barrett snoring kept me up. Psst, psst. Keep it down; they'll hear you. Barrett's always edgy before an operation. Uh oh. All right. I'm going this time. Cool, new party member. Awesome. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you onto the train. Speaking of snoring, I'll tell you that in a second. Yo, Cloud! Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that material you found. Just teach me how to use it. Hell no! <laughs> All I gotta say is you wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh my god. So this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll ask Jesse again later, but you're in charge of this materia. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watched the story while we're gone. Did she just give control? <laughs> Alright, good luck. Of the bar yeah, to, to like that a girl. four-year-old over here? Can she make me a drink? Dang, ask her to make her uh, mix vodka in a... Uh, Take care. No, nope, she can't do anything. Rum in the eyes. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the reason we're so ecstatic about that little thing right there is because we didn't have to let Barrett explain the... Or no, Cloud explain the materia system. Yeah, we tried to do that, actually. We tried to do that in an episode before this. This episode, actually. And it took forever. Yeah, so basically, we'll explain the materia our own way pretty soon. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to talk to the weapon shop guy who is not upstairs. Hey, 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 wait a minute, you. <laughs> what, you fat Albert? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just wa walk out here without buying something. <laughs> Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. All right, now this is the weapon shop guy. There's a weapon in, not a weapon, a piece of armor in here called the Iron Bangle. This is the only time in the game you can get it. Yep, the only time in the whole game that you can buy this. You might as well go ahead and buy one for yep. each of your party members. And, and we don't have to worry about that, really. Uh, is the assault gun better than Barrett's? Uh, no, nah, look, doesn't do anything. Oh, well. Oh, dang, well, you might ah, get it. Right. Who, what are the main party members we're going to be using? Tifa. I'd say Barrett, Tifa, and Cloud. Yeah. So we might as well, you know, keep Barrett, you know. We'll keep him good. up to date with weapons and armor. All right, so go ahead and we're going to go ahead and equip, what, the Iron Bangle? Yep, to each of them. And the Assault Gun to Barrett. Yep, and the only reason I mention the Iron Bangle is that I know some people like to have every single item in the game, you know? Yeah. And some items like the Iron Bangle, and there's actually a weapon coming up called the Ghost Hand that you can only get, you know, once in the One, whole game. Yeah. Well, let's see what this kid's got to say. You dried up old geese, you tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Alright, right here, you have to give him ten gil, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, if you give him one gil or nothing, you can't get... You can't stay the night. Yeah, but I'm gonna give him nothing. Alright, let's try it anyway. Yeah. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you, uh, if you you don't talk... Like, if you don't accept this offer here, if you go to the third floor and enter his room, he'll offer it again, so... Dang, so really there's nothing to lose by, you know... Yeah, and there's <laughs> something in here we're gonna wanna get. Dang, a safe spot. Yeah, it's going around. crazy. There's Dang. a little material on the floor right here. Yeah, get that. And that won't be there until after you do the, uh... uh dang. What? Hey, you got one right off. That was material. Now, take this treasure chest. Whoa, what? dang, that just came from uh, the let's see what's Isn't in there here. a roof from an ether? Dang, for doing nothing? This room's dang, awesome. That's pretty good. But in, in that <laughs> room, I'll just explain real quick. In that room, there's actually a, another tutorial how to save, how to hook Yeah, how to use limit break. How do you how, listen, how to use the select button. Oh, Wait, you ready, ready? Watch this, watch this. <gasps> oh my! The select button, dang, dang, that was hard. But I guess for people that don't know what those red triangles are, you know. Yeah, this is help. the kid's room, by the way, so you can come up here. This is a slum, so you can't stay here for free. What are you trying to do? Doesn't just see in the bed make you sleepy? And yeah, you so, can pay yeah, him. you gotta give him 10 gil anyway. Yeah, but I'm not going to. It's really a waste of money right now, because we yeah. have full, what, HP and F MP? <laughs> yeah, we don't <laughs> I'm need it. FP, dang. FP. There's a trick to being tough, but remember that old dude. Alright, so we gotta worry about him. Alright, so there's nothing yeah, in there's here nothing as far as here. I know, nothing in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Alright, for those of you wondering, FP is the main, like, the MP system in Super Mario RPG. Yeah, and flower would, point. Yeah, we would always rip on it because it stands for plow, flower points or flower power. <laughs> flower power. So, like, seriously. <laughs> it doesn't stand up to the tried and true magic Magic points, points yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, dang. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is head over to the materia shop. Alright, is there any, like, good material we can get? Yeah, they got, they got ice and fire. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like oh, this. Look at that store. I wouldn't want medicine. In that no, place. dang, it's all dirty <laughs> and rusty and dang. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. You a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell. We buy. All right. Sounds like a commercial. Yeah, I know. It's like Billy Mays. Oh, what happened to Billy? <laughs> he died. Didn't he die from a uh, cocaine. cocaine overdose or something like that? <laughs> My God. Get fire. 
And we already have one of these, so go ahead and I'll get ours. Yeah, might as well just get every, you know, material that we can. Alright, so... I don't plan on dying all that much, so hopefully we don't need any uh, Phoenix Downs or... Yeah, or yeah, we... Yeah. Those will be easy to re replenish anyway. Oh, Dang it, oh, oh, press and buttons. Alright, oh. let me go ahead and set my material up really quick. There's something with the uh, the all material we got up in the beginner's room that we're gonna yeah, do right now. Yeah, we can go ahead and explain the material real quick. Yeah. All right, the Mysteria... Oh my Mysteria? <laughs> what are we, uh, beasts or something? Oh my god. The Materia system. Oh, I got two. Oh, I bought an ice elbow. Uh, that's fine. But anyway, basically, when you equip a Materia, it will either increase or decrease all your stats. So you don't want to put all of your like magic material one person. Yeah, that's just why I'm dividing or, it up here. Yeah, or you do want to give all your magic material to, to one, one person. person yeah. You don't want to like give four or five to each character because it just it won't help your attack stats at all. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? What are we just gonna do here? I've got restore all, and this effect uh, when you use restore on your characters in battle, it will cure all of them. Yeah. So you you won't have the option to cure unless you have the restore material equipped. So you better, you know, have at least one character with a restore Yeah, injury. I decided to put it on Cloud. But here's the rest of the guys over here, and they're taking off. Let me see. Yesterday, everyone in town was peeking at the two of you from outside the... What? Talk about Tifa's Tifa. childhood oh. friend. That's a good one. All right. Do you want to... Oh, to oh dang, dang, what? Dang, that's a precursor to the, the story later on. They don't recognize Tifa or Cloud as a... Oh, you're right. Dang. dang. Hope he doesn't get hurt. That worries me the most. I'm a man of few words. The, uh... The story in this game is really good. I cannot wait to get to the meat and potatoes of this story here. Yeah, there's some guards over here? You know, I got some tickets to Loveless. You want to go? <laughs> oh, my. What, you retarded? <laughs> Meat goes under martial law now. You mean, you really are concerned for me? Hell no, but in case you forgot, we're in the middle of a slum. They could be anywhere around, so stay on your guard. Right, you mean the avalanchers? Don't you worry, soldier has been added to the police force. Dang, it's kind of. I like how they have that funny dialogue. Yeah, out of nowhere. Dang. We can't. Oh, dang! A save spot. Should we explain how these work? Oh, see, all you gotta do is you press this menu button. Here <laughs> you, you go. Save. You know that's funny. I tried to get my brother to play Final Fantasy VIII, and he did not understand that you had to be on a save spot to save. Oh my. I because <laughs> in the menu the save spot is grayed out, and he was like, "Why doesn't it work?" Nah, you gotta be like directly on it. Yep. So there's that. All right. Dang, we're up to 17. Dang. Do you think we should uh, end this one here? Yeah, I think area? we should go ahead and end it here. But uh, up there, just by the way, there's a blocked off gate that we can't go through. Right? No, this actually is the pillar supporting the yep, upper the, plate. So but I that, don't know. we will uh, see that in a coming. Up yeah, episode, in a couple, in a couple of few episodes. That I can't <laughs> even talk. <laughs> we'll see that in a couple of few. All right. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this, and especially all you new people that started watching. I want to give a thanks to Wings of Redemption for the shout-out. Thank you for everybody that's new watching. And, you know, thanks to the old subscribers that have stuck through. Yes, and thank you to the old guys as well. Yep, so thank you guys. We'll see you in Episode 4.